Hi, Wendy here from ECS Coffee in Burlington. Coming to you today to introduce the new DeLonghi 2022 Art? Arte? Arte. 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 <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to make it fun here, folks. They put an E on the end of the word. So today we're doing a review, overview of the Dedica Art. So let's get into it. So this is a model uh, two models ago, uh, pretty basic. It came with a scoop and a tamper. They've done a fantastic job this time around. They've actually given us a metal tamper. It just feels a lot better in the, the hand than pressing down with something that's plastic. It is only six inches wide, holds 35 ounces of water, uh, programmable single and double shot. The best upgrade that I can find on this machine is that it actually gives you a professional wand for art. So if you are interested in making milk art, then this is the machine for you. With this machine, there's uh, two different programming modes. So by holding down the steam button for 10 seconds, it will program for the pre-infusion temperature. It will program for water hardness and also auto off. Um, after that, once you have all that set up, it says low, medium, high, I'm guessing 92 to 96 degrees for the uh, brewing temperature. The other program mode is to program the amount of water running through your shot. And what you do is you would hold down either the single or the double shot until the desired amount of quantity of water comes through and then you would release it when you want it to stop. Not everybody wants to drink an Americano style, they want their water to come through the coffee. I have it already loaded up, holds up to 18 grams of coffee. We have the espresso already in here. It does not come with a grinder. It comes with portafilter baskets that hold a single shot, a double shot. They also have one, if you haven't heard of them, that holds the ESE pods. And what's fantastic about that is you don't have to have a grinder. There's no mess. You're in a hurry in the morning. You don't want to bother grinding and tamping. You would just pop this basket in, click it onto your machine, and then you have a great shot. So we're going to put it in here. It's going to be a little stiff at first when you first start. Uh, there is up inside here a gasket and it has to be seated in. So over time it'll get easier to put that in. If you don't want to struggle with putting your mug or glass actually into the machine, Another thing that they have done this time is when you remove the tray, it's nice and stainless, so it gives you more cup height. So you just set it in here and you don't have to worry about it. You can also go to a bigger mug. It will sit in there nicely. You just have to be mindful that you might have to clean up the drip tray. So I don't mind having the angle, I'm used to that. So we'll put it in and we're going to hit the double shot button. All right, we had it turn off. Uh, you can set it to turn off uh, after nine minutes. So it's been longer than nine minutes since I warmed this one up. So we'll shut off. It's like energy saving mode. It's not going to stay on all day behind the scenes. So I've had the double shot in here. So if the shot is good and timed and tamped properly, it should be about 30 seconds, give or take two ounces. I haven't done this with this machine yet. I just took it for granted that this was going to work. So what you see is not obviously a perfect pour. It should be coming out uh, flowing like honey. Uh, but we wanted to be honest with this review and just show you that, you know, your first grind, you might have to waste it and then you can come back in. This one I would make a little bit more coarse because it's trying to force out the proper amount of water, which is two ounces and it's struggling a little bit. So at this point, if I was at home, I would knock this puck out and start again um, with the proper grind. So you just hit it again to stop it if you don't want to waste time, um, and then you'd move along. So what we have here is the button to start your steam. If I open this up right now, there'd just be hot water shooting out of it, which is fantastic for those of you who want to create Americano. If not, you want it to steam some milk, you would just hit that and if you notice it starts flashing, I would just go in there with my pitcher of milk, which unfortunately doesn't come with it, but uh, DeLonghi does have two sizes of pitchers you can buy. 
and they are fantastic. Uh, nice in shape. This one can accommodate a larger jug than some because uh, of the, the length of the actual wand here. So it stopped flashing, that was pretty quick. There we go. We're just gonna open it up now. I haven't even tested to see how powerful this wand is. So I'm just going to steam and I'm gonna go by feel on this one. What you wanna do is just create a bit of a vortex. You just want the milk spilling around. There we go. I find this nozzle is very flexible. It came out no problem. We do have baristas that are working with that work here that do uh, perfect latte art. So you could do perfect latte art. All right, this is feeling really nice and warm and that was quick. So I'm going to close that valve up. Wipe it down right away if you don't want it to uh, get burnt on, but let's just see what I can do here. I'll wipe it down. Whoa. So YouTube yells at us for that, so. Yeah, well, whoa. Hey, YouTube. Check man. that out. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, fancy. <laughs> wipe that down. For all of you on YouTube, they like to comment on our wiping down screen. Well, you know what? That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, do you want to show them a, a, a properly ground shot? How should be? Yeah, okay. I'm going to go regrind my uh, espresso beans. This time around, I wanted to show you a shot. I've adjusted my grind setting uh, a little bit more coarse than the last shot. Again, haven't tested it. I just wanted to let you know um, an honest review of just grinding and how long it could uh, take you to set up your shot. Nope. We'd have to adjust the grind in the background one more time. I think maybe a couple more notches on the grinder I'm working with and we should have a good uh, double shot here. Take three. The grind has been adjusted, uh, just a little bit more coarse. I'm trying to get this uh, shot to speed up a little bit. It's trickling down a bit slowly. The one other thing I did is if you have um, a kitchen scale of any kind, I just uh, teared out the portafilter handle with the basket. I just um, wanted to make sure the consistency and, and the amount is correct uh, going into the shot is one variable you can eliminate right off the bat. So hit the double shot button again. Take four. Double shot espresso, take five. Woo, and there we go. So what we're using right here is our 88 miles an hour coffee. It's a dry bean. You don't want to use an oily bean in this machine. Um, it, uh, if you press too hard, the oil might uh, congeal together and it'd be hard for it to get through. But look at that beautiful shot. So as you can see, out of the box, it may take you four or five uh, grind, different grind settings uh, to get it correct. Um, so there we go. Perfect shot of espresso. Oh my gosh, now it's stuck in here. <laughs> so, if you have a, a mug this size, you might not want to put the drip tray there so it's easy to slot it in and out. Just beautiful crema on that shot. Just wanted to show you the different baskets. So I had the dual uh, basket in, so it's going to hold up to upwards of uh, 18 grams. I was only using 16. This one has a little single cup on it. And then this one here, no, actually, this is the ESE pod. It looks like a little spaceship on the bottom. And this is the single one. It has just a picture of a little scoop. So depending on the amount of espresso you want out or how weak or how strong you want it, then that's what you would pop in. This machine comes with the uh, scoop, the tamper, and 
the decalcification um, that you would put in the water tank. And if you want to see what comes in the box, you can watch Jack's unboxing video and he's going to put a link right up here. So some final thoughts on this machine. I love how sleek and slim it is, uh, exactly like the model before it. But the big upgrade is the tamper, which I prefer. And actually gunning towards doing some latte art, it gives you that option. It will take a little bit of work. You can practice with uh, water and a little bit of soap. If you want to create that little fancy latte art, this machine will allow you to do it. It's a great starter machine. Thanks for watching our review on the new DeLonghi Dedica Arte. Apparently, well, they put an E on the ends. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs>